What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you let's get to the content? Okay, man, y'all remember a little bit after Young Dolph was killed, man, a dude named Grove Hero jumped online and pretty much stated that Big Joe was the one who put the hit on young Dolph's head right that was confirmed by Dolph's killer Cornelius Smith on the stand right Rollo fam goon got wind of that and it seems he's declaring war against CMG as he's smoking the big juke pack right but whack 100 is wondering if big juke used the money from a CMG account to pay for the hit on young Dolph's life and he says since big juke is deceased if he did do that then yo god it could possibly be held accountable for his brother's actions and wind up getting indicted for conspiracy to commit murder. It is interesting. I'm gonna let y'all get to it. Shout out to Wack 100. Shout out to 100 ENT. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. So, but they've been knowing. A bag was dropped because this nigga right here, up here, Grove Hero. I don't know what kind of name that is. Maybe that means something. I don't Grove might mean something in Tennessee or something. I don't know. Yeah, but he was, he was, he was serious as a motherfucker because he, the nigga was saying this way back when before we even heard this nigga get on the stand and say, yeah, so he like, so now for the, I think niggas probably been hearing whispers, but for the motherfucking shit to, uh, actually be said on the motherfucking stand today i think is what is what got everybody going that's what got everybody going i think is dude up there telling like a motherfucker what's the other niggas disposition which one the uh the one with the chopper because the one with the handgun wait wait which one to tell the one with the handgun the nigga with the chopper the one doing the telling right now right, right the one with the chopper doing the telling What's the other nigga's disposition? That was the rapper, right? Yeah, he was the rap nigga. He was the straight drop nigga who used to, his name was Straight Drop. He used to be with Dolph, then he got with Gotti them. Oh, damn. So he already had a little, what, what, what made him switch up? Dolph dropped him or something? It was that made them niggas get into it, but I, all I know is like, the nigga, some type of way he retrieved one of them PRE chains. Like he got into a, one of them paper route niggas. He got one of their chains. He did a video with the chain like attached to his. You know how niggas be having the belt buckle chains and shit. He had that shit attached to his um his belt or whatever, like a like a belt chain. And after that, you know them niggas going back and forth, and you know all this shit started happening. So if that they... nigga got that nigga finna do life for eight hundred dollars. Oh God! But you know what's crazy? I believe the, the the straight drop nigga probably got paid and he was supposed to be the one who was supposed to break off the nigga who tell it and he just never broke the nigga off right. Yeah, oh, it started oh, when you got two niggas in the middle. You got the nigga who got his daughter killed. Right. I think he did some telling too because ain't no way he got a straight conspiracy to the murder and they let they let him out. Like I ain't no way. That nigga ain't that bill gotta be a couple me. They let that nigga out. He been out. Yeah, he definitely been out. And and he violated once. You know what I'm he saying? Violated. And they still let him stay out. They let him stay out. But I think they let him stay out because he got out before Juk got killed, right? Yeah, yeah. He was out before Juk got killed. I think they let him out to, to do that work. They was coming to get Juk. I think they let him out to do that work, to communicate on that end. That makes and sense. Try to build a case on that end. I think they let that nigga out under the, the, the agreement that he gonna bring him something on Jux, the phone conversations, whatever the fuck it may be. But you know what's what's crazy? Like what was what's, what's what I can't seem to figure out is they got all this shit, right? Why Juke wasn't never charged? Because I think they was building the case. I think they was building the case, my nigga. I think they knew I'm bro, they ain't finna let that nigga out when Juk contacted him. Juke ain't even the one that hired them two niggas. That other nigga did. Right. Juke, you know what I'm saying? So they got Juke straight up on a motherfucking conspiracy situation. But I think what they was going to go after, keep it in real, was run through them books to see if that 100 comes straight from CMG. 
He comes straight from CMG. They on some thug shit with him. Man, I was just saying that earlier. I feel like if Juke was still alive with all this shit that's coming out in the case, I feel like Gotti and Juke would have had a Rico coming soon. Yeah, that's a fact. Nigga, that still ain't over. You feel like you feel like with <laughs> because Juke I don't this, know. I don't know how Juke was positioned in that company. If he on paper with that company and he pulled something like that and like that, and they can trace that back to that, that's a problem. Yeah, you right, nigga. Got him might be in trouble. Hopefully that was just, hopefully that was just some 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 lay around cash, some gambling money or something. Yeah, nigga, bro, you can't fuck around like that. You cannot fuck around like that. And the fact that they tying it all in to that, that turns CMG into the same shit they trying to do with YSL. It ain't no different. All right, see, it just, it just leaves. Gotti, the only motherfucker here to stand in the fire. Yeah, that's that's nasty right there. I know he over that shit in bricks right now. Hell, I would be. Hell yeah, me shit, too. I, I be calling Russell. Trying to get over there, ain't it? <laughs> Straight up, I would be. I be nervous in the motherfucker. I be nervous as fuck, bro, because this shit is... When I heard that shit, I'm like, nigga, hold up. I'm telling you right now, that other nigga, whatever his name was, the nigga they let out first, that nigga that interviewed with Stan G, that nigga, that's him, right? Yeah, Orange Mouth Quit. That's him, Quit. Quit. That nigga's working. They know this nigga dead bang for conspiracy. He the one hired the two hitters. Ain't, okay, what was his bond? I'm finna look it up right now. Ain't nobody satisfied that bond, bro. Hey, that nigga Govan definitely working. Guess how low his bond was? <laughs> what was his bond? 90 fucking thousand. What I tell you, nigga, not on no body. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, bro. He on the case ain't, with them? Ain't no nigga. He the one that contracted them. 90 thousand. gave him the money. He the one went and contracted the hitters. Oh, yeah, he going to be a witness pretty soon. Yeah, that, that, he, that Bro, that they let that nigga out. Up. They let him out to implement Juk, bro. I guarantee they let that nigga out. The way they let that nigga out. Nigga to get up on the jug and to help build that case. That would have had to be. That's the only thing that makes sense. Ninety thousand niggas be getting ninety thousand dollar bonds on gun cases, man. Gun cases, dope shit. That nigga found some niggas who was desperate and took third. It took eight hundred dollars up front. That's crazy. Nah, I believe, I believe he paid straight drop. I think straight oh, drop just oh, gave oh, that okay, nigga okay, eight hundred. Okay. okay, so some oh, it's, it's it was two. Man. It was two shooters. Mm. You got jug. You got this. Other nigga who they let out, Go Van. Go Juk got killed. Go Van, right? Juk give him the hundred, and then he went and found the hitters. He got two niggas. Damn. And by the way it looked, he was supposed to take Dub and get him forty apiece, and I don't think that happened. Yeah, I, I don't think, think that happened. I nigga. think the other nigga got a bag, you know, and they and the nigga that they didn't pay get it, girl. But the, the other nigga that they didn't pay, he like shit. That. That nigga told it all. He told everything. <laughs> yeah, that nigga That's cooked. That's the most honest snitch I ever heard. That nigga who they didn't pay was on. He, he was like an old junk ass nigga. So that's probably why they was why they were buried for you. Oh, all them niggas is junkies in that case. Shit, he sound yeah, like yeah. he was the same mind to me. Yeah, is it this shit right here? But I, I play. I don't know, man. Six hundred. I I can't be mad at Rallo. Rallo here. He was in jail. When a nigga get killed, yeah. he hearing a nigga get on the stand saying, yeah, whoop de -whoop put a hundred on his head. That's yeah, why we this, did it. But, but this the thing. This the thing. Them niggas, that's just business, bro. You get what I'm saying? He know that. You know what I'm saying? So for him to be emotional, talking about... That's his business, homie, though. That's cool. That's cool. Nigga, handle that shit in the street. If you a street nigga, if you claiming to be a street nigga, you doing all this rapping, talking tough, all this other shit, bro, keep that shit in the street. Yeah, I'm, yeah, with, I'm, with, six, I'm with 600 on that one, Wack. Because look, yeah. no, if, if he is close, that's just like this, right? If he really is close with, with, with Dolph family, as he say, he knew all this information before it came out in court. So why he ain't been I, saying I mean, this? He might have heard it, but I'll be the hear it come out that motherfucker's mouth. Is I a whole other that thing. Shit to be from a nigga mama, That's true. Wife or girlfriend, baby, mama be talking about fuck them niggas and nigga bitch. He pussy like bro, like that nigga ain't the that nigga. Ain't oh no, he didn't declare nigga. war. He said, nigga, I got the jook pack. Hit the link. Yeah, he oh, done yeah, he, he done declare a war. But he he clout chasing though, cause he just this past weekend he was just at Mo three um at Mo three headstone doing a video. So I think he clout chasing. Man, yeah, somebody, Rollo, Rollo don't got, want no problems. 
Man, well, who I mean, got that old ass he video? He can't say he don't want no problems not doing what he doing. Yeah, but uh, you have to think about this, nigga. If we, if we want beef, we ain't putting that shit on the internet. You get what I'm saying? That's because what I'm know, saying. That's what I'm saying. When, when we talk about these these sweetheart niggas, uh, like big use, useless and all of them, we know they ain't going to do anything. But when we get busy in the streets, we ain't even going to do nothing. We're going to attack. He ain't got no choice. Not, well, you know what? I, I'm going to keep it 100. Rollo ain't no dummy. He like, okay, these niggas then said, Juke put the 100. They said, CMG, part of CMG, it come CMG. He probably know the police is on watching the shit out of Gotti. Gotti ain't no dummy, so Gotti ain't finna be initiating nothing like none of that kind of shit going on. He already shaking in his boots about is these folks gonna try to tie whatever my brother did to my company because he part of my company if he is on paper. So you right, Rollo probably know the probability of something happening right now is slim to none. So fuck it, let me take my shot at detention on the internet. You might be right because Gotti right now has his die. Yeah, but think about um, I don't Robert. think Gotti worry about that shit, man. They, they, yeah. they, they got their fall guy. They, they blame it on Jig and shit. You know Jig. Yeah. Is, so, he, like he, he, nah, he, bullshit. He ain't worried about that shit. If that nigga on paperwork, part of that company on document, on part of that company structure, and you got this nigga talking about Jig gave us the hundred. First, boy, he better had that hundred loose. Jook better not have Nam hunted went to him. Then, then you he better not have Nam wired, Nam nothing went to him from there. Then you know you know how the feds do like the same way they doing with Thug, bro. Criminal because, empire. Exactly, because you know the first two times Dolph got shot at, all oh, that shit was some CMG shit too. Got his right hand man locked up for shooting at Dolph right now. But y'all yeah, have to think about this. In LA? Right? Nah, not, not the LA nigga. We, I ain't even talking about the LA nigga. I'm talking about the shit that happened in Charlotte, the CIAA. Not the black youngster. You, you know, they shot. When they, hit the, when they hit the Sprinter van. No, no. The year, that, that was the year after. The year before that, they shot at him. That before that, at the hotel. Man. Yeah, facts. The second year is when they shot at the Sprinter van. That was the they 100. Shot at the the nigga second Dolph. one was the 100 shot they, shit, right? Yeah, they shot at Dolph two CIAAs back to back. And got his right hand man locked up for that shooting in Charlotte right now. He been locked up like six years on that shit. You might even know the nigga, um, whack nigga named Keon used to be with Gotti all the time. Oh, I know Keon. I, yeah. That's who they, that's who they book for that. Yeah, Keon, Keon, um, Keon, Keon took a plea for that shit. All right, we gonna leave it right there. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Whack one hundred speculating, man, that if Big Juke used some money from a CMG account, a CMG a corporate account, or whatever, to pay the hundred grand that was put on Young Dolph's head, that Yo Gotti could possibly face federal charges or get an indictment for conspiracy to commit murder simply because Big Juke is dead, and if your company is behind right paying money on someone's life that's actually illegal right we can't do that a company can't pay a hitman no more than an individual can for somebody's life right and the dude cornelius smith actually confirmed that it was big juke man through govon man the dude that set it up in the first place the middleman man met him at a store a restaurant or whatever you understand what i'm saying told him to go take the phones outside sat with big juke made the deal next thing you know young Dolph is hit nobody got their money i guess straight drop got his money but <laughs> cornelius smith the actual shooter the dude that held the draco that took young Dolph's life ended up getting 800 dollars behind the deal so wag 100 is saying if that's the case man yo Gotti could face charges man do y'all think that yo Gotti knew what big juke was up to man i would say yes man because they had a real beef going on man they tried to get young Dolph taken out a couple of times man attempts were made on his life by cmg even the prosecution knows it that this was a cmg hit right they knew that in opening statements dude spoke about this right so i think yo Gotti did have wind of this if your brother's lining up your enemy and your enemy is just as famous and popular and maybe just as rich as you you're gonna know what's going on now did it go through him did he approve it we don't know do they have text messages 
emails, bank account statements, witness testimony. We'll never know, man. Time will tell, but you know who knows everything? Govon, man. He had a direct line to Big Jook, man. He was the middleman of the whole operation. Big Jook probably slid him the 100 grand to slide to Straight Drop and Cornelius Smith, right? So he knows it all. And WAC 100 is speculating. They gave him a low bond, right? $9,000 to get out, $90,000 bail, right? Just so he can line Big Jook up in this situation right and big chook did not know that he was about to get arrested anyway because the dudes was snitching on him right so he was about to get locked up for conspiracy to commit murder anyway if he didn't get his life taken at his uncle's repast man but i got to say this man this family is living up to the lyrics in their songs man memphis is a hotbed for drama memphis is a hotbed for shootings memphis is a hotbed for cheap hits and memphis is a hotbed for the feds to be scoping on right now man and i think yo Gotti is under the microscope of the memphis police department as well as the feds man right now so he better tread carefully he need to move accordingly and maybe he need to get on the plane and head on over there to bali and kick it with russell simmons at least until the smoke clears on this case man because the feds want answers right young Dolph's family wants answers right and this situation is far from over man it's only been one day of testimony it's been bombs dropped already man but the lingering question is is gonna be will yo Gotti end up getting some charges based upon what his brother did to take out young Dolph man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section man this has been Getty Video I appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe I will catch you guys on the flip side peace